Hello, my name is Chris Visaya, part of the Splunk education team. Splunk has some great tools for visualizing your data. Pie charts, gauges, bar charts, and a lot more. If you read through the Splunk docs, you'll see that in order to create visualizations, event data must first be converted into statistical data tables. And to do that, it says we need to use transforming commands. But what does all of that mean? What exactly are these commands, and how do we go about using them with our Splunk searches and visualizations? Let's start with a transforming search, which is any regular Splunk search that passes results to one of several transforming commands. The primary commands are chart, time chart, top, rare, and stats. These transforming commands come after your search and are linked with a pipe operator. Transforming commands take event data that results from a search, process the data using built-in rules, and then generates one or more series. These are related data points organized in rows and columns like you'd find in a spreadsheet. These commands order the specified cell values for each event into numerical values for statistical purposes. The number of series generated by the transforming commands determines the type of visualization in which the data can be used. In turn, each of the different visualization types require these data structures to be set up in particular ways. For example, most charting visualizations require search results to be structured as tables with at least two columns, where the first column provides x-axis values and subsequent columns provide y-axis values for each series represented in the chart. A simple count can be displayed as a gauge visualization, which represents a single value. The transforming command time chart can be used with the count, resulting in a series of related data points, in this case, related by time. Visualized in a line graph, the count values correspond to the series values across time. Going back to the original count, and this time using the chart command to count by name, two series of related data points are created. These can be displayed in a bar chart as the count for each name. These are just two examples of using transform commands to structure data for visualizations. We'll cover more about the syntax of visualizations and how it relates to transform commands in another video. If you have any questions, check out answers.splunk.com, read the docs, or take a course from Splunk Education. And if you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, send them to howtovideos at splunk.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.